How do you apply an Azure policy inside Azure? Find out on this MS Cloud Bros video. Hey, Jeremy Wallace here, Microsoft Certified Trainer and Azure Solutions Architect Expert. Uh, today, we're taking a look at Azure Policies. Azure Policies are a great way uh, to, to manage your Azure tenant, make sure things there are certain requirements or constraints. Today, we're just going to look at a, a simple example of requiring a tag on resources. That's that's one of the recommended policies that I have is that, hey, require when, when people make resources in your Azure tenant that it has certain tags that they have to fill out. So I'm gonna show you how to do that here today. So first thing I'm gonna do is of course, look for policy in my Azure tenant. Remember, make use of this search bar in, in Azure. It's an easy way to get to a lot of things. So policy, and then you can notice here, I have under authoring definitions, assignments, exemptions, we're gonna to go to definitions here. And then you'll see this big list of defined policy definitions and categories that, that are already built out here in Azure that you can choose from. So I'm gonna search for require a tag. And you'll notice here, I have require a tag for resource groups and I have require a tag on resources. So we're gonna do the require a tag on resources, but if I also wanted these tags applicable to, to RGs, then we're gonna to need to do that with a, with a separate policy. Now, you will notice that there is a, not only a require a tag, but there's a require a tag and its value. What's the difference there? Well, it's on a require a tag, for instance, I can do a let require a created by tag, and then that you have to fill out your name on the resource to to let people know who created that resource. Well, re require a tag and its value not only requires that tag name, but also requires a particular value for that tag name. So for instance, I can apply to all my virtual machines a, a require a tag that says resource type virtual machine. So it has to have that designation. So for this purposes, I'm just gonna do a general require a tag on resources so that we can do like, like a created by tag. So I'm going to assign this policy. And then we're gonna fill out some things here. So we do have under policy definition, require a tag on resources, version one, if I wanna name it something else, but I'm going to do require tag on resources or require a created by tag on resources. Requires a the resource view by tag resource. All right. So I'm going to do policy enforcement enabled. Next, we're gonna to go to parameters. Now under parameters, this is where we're gonna take a look at what, what the tag is that we're defining. So for instance, it gives an example of name of a tag such as environment. So in this case, I wanna do created by. And if you would have done the, the other one where you require a a value, then you would have had not only the name, but the value here, and you would have had to put what that value is that you're requiring. But we're not doing that on this. We're just doing an open created by so that the person can fill in their name for the resource. Next, remediation. By default, this assignment will only take effect on newly created resources. Existing resources can be updated via a remediation task after the policy is assigned for deploy if not exist policies. The remediation task will deploy the specified template for modified policies. The remediation task will edit tags on the existing resource. So essentially, if you want this policy to apply to existing resources, and you have the deploy if not exists, then you're gonna need a managed identity to do that deployment automatically. Otherwise you have to go and do it yourself. So we can choose to create a managed identity, whether it's a system assigned or a user managed identity, and then where that lo the location of that identity is going to be. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Non-compliance message. This is the message that pops up when 
they're missing this particular tag. So it's going to be like, hey, you're, something's wrong. So what do you want that message to be? So it said, the resource is missing a created by tag. Please add the tag and list your name as the creator of this resource. So they'll see this message and I'll show you an example um, of what that looks like. All right, so I'm gonna hit create. So we assign the policy. Uh, now if I go down to assignment, we see here the require a created by tag on resources and it's applied to my lab subscription, of course, that I have here. So now I'm gonna try spitting up a resource without that tag and we'll see what happens. So let's go, uh, I'm just gonna do a public IP. So let's go to public IP addresses. Let me create one. Let's just call this pip test. All right. And I'm not going to put any uh, tags on it so that you can see when it runs the validation, now we see a validation failed. It wants me to click here. And what does it fail with? Fails with resource pip test was disallowed by policy. And then we can see policy require a created by tag on resources. Reason the resource is missing a created by tag please add the tag and list your name as the creator of this resource. So it has that compliance message that we set on it. So now I have to go back to tags. I'm gonna do a created by, I'm gonna enter Jeremy Wallace. And now if I hit next and run the validation, validation passed. Uh, so I will create this resource and it will have uh, that tag um, on the resource created by Jeremy Wallace. Uh, so again, you can do this uh, with um, a bunch of other policies that are out there. Um, ones that I definitely recommend are the created, defining certain tags that you want on, whether it's environmental tags, so they can designate whether it's a production or, or dev environment or date tags or description tags, whatever those tags that are going to be most beneficial for you. And I do have other posts on that, that you, you can take a look at if you need help coming up with what those should be. You can also do things like restrict public IPs being associated with VMs or, or require there be private endpoints put on resources inside your environment. So, that, and then nothing be publicly accessible on the past side. So there's a ton of great uses for Azure policy. And so this is just dipping your toe in on being able to create and assign those policies.